that. So long. Was never in doubt. Thank good. without a guardian, right? Oh, the tail being thrown! Don't piss it off, more. Focus, guys. Fuck! <laughs>
All right, so now I'm down to an 8.9. Uh, originally, I started the game at high hopes, still at high hopes. I got it up to about 9.3, 9.4 before um, in the last video. I've noticed um, three things, uh, four things actually that are bad. One, the time it takes to level up material, which is um, present here. It's really annoying, even if you attach AP up with regards to them. Uh, it takes forever, uh, because based on the amount of AP you get from a boss or from many enemies, it's just not enough AP to max out the different material, and you get tons of material throughout the game, of blue, of green, of yellow, of purple. Tons. And each of these material types are necessary to fight a specific type of bosses, so you won't know which one is necessary and which one isn't. So the AP gain per each enemy um, ranges anywhere from 3 AP to 5 AP to 10 to 20 AP. And usually you get 20 AP from uh, bosses and everything. Like big bosses, not mini bosses. Mini bosses you get like 10 AP. Enemies in the field, you get anywhere from 5 to 10 in a group. Um, it's just not enough AP. You will always have to attach an AP um, up material onto a different type of um, material. And it's real bad because by the time you get towards the 75% mark of the game, the new material they give to you, you have to then level those up, which means the old material are pretty much pointless. So I don't, I don't think there's enough AP that's given for each type of um, material you get. And it's not like you could birth new material like in the old games you can't do that so I took a point off from the game for that that's one point I dropped it down to about uh, 9.3 um, 9 uh, completely 9 point actually 9.2 because technically uh, yesterday was um, or the last video was with 9.3 so this one I dropped it down to about 9.2 and then I found another issue with regards to the game itself when you get into combats with regards to certain missions or certain bosses this boss I just fought just now is simpler compared to when I fought Rufus and Elena within the arena but apparently this is about this boss which is a garden of the ancient city is about around their same um, level However, um, however, that's not true. Uh, apparently, um, that boss with specifically with uh, Elena and Rude and uh, Rufus, you had to fight that in a specific way. So the game doesn't tell you how to do certain things. You have to figure those things out. And to the point that you would some, sometimes think, well, it's kind of ridiculous that these bosses are this hard. It's because it's trying to tell you how to use a specific type of material. Unfortunately, the majority of people who play this game are randoms and diehard fans. And typically, the amount of people who will purchase the game aren't majority of them aren't people you will see streaming these type of games. They have it in the house and stuff. Every now and again, you get a couple of streamers that will play this game. Blah blah blah. But not everyone will. So. The money is been ba uh, is is banked on the general public with regards to these things, and I the difficulty rating with regards to the the mentality of someone who's willing to invest in these things aren't uh, exactly that much of a I guess you could say it's it's invested more for people who are games rendered than people who are randoms or even fans. And this game definitely isn't for kids. Um, I used to think it was, um, and it was for family and everything. But after playing past the 50% marker to the 75% marker, in fact, truly after playing past the 75% marker, I could thoroughly say this game really isn't for family or for for kids, unless unless the mode that they give to you, which is um, like a baby mode is um, easy in normal easy in the easy mode and normal mode is just basically for fans of the game general fans of the game and those who want, who want a slight challenge but if the game doesn't have an easy mode because i didn't check to see if it does i will have to dock a point for the game for that but even if i didn't dock a game point for the game for that by the time 
Someone who plays this game on the easy mode will get towards past the 75% marker. Everything is start playing out like normal, so generally the mass audience or those who just want to have an easy ride playing this game is going to get upset playing this game because all of a sudden the difficulty spike has increased to a certain level that is forces them to actually know how to use certain things. And the problem with regards to gamers, uh, general gamers, is that they're not going to try to learn how to do certain things within the game. If it gets to a certain point that it gets too complicated, the, the first thing that will come in their mind is like, I'm playing this game from an enjoyment point of view in order to relieve myself of stress from the world outside of gaming. I don't play this game in order to add more stress to this game unless I purchase this game for the type of difficulty I'm expecting. So when the game starts to get to like, you know, a mini version of a From Software game, which is, you don't die in this game from falling off things, but eventually when the boss starts to get to that level, you start questioning why certain things are happening. And it's not that it's happened throughout the beginning of the game. It, it truly starts to happen past the 75% marker of the game, where you feel like certain bosses, kind of, the difficult spike rating has gone up by a significant amount. And the people who made the game past that significant period, the 75% marker, weren't thinking about the gradual incline across the difficulty from the beginning of the game to the halfway point and towards the end. So there seems to be a differentiation with regards to what's a boss at the halfway, what's a boss at the beginning, that the increase in difficulty of boss seemed to like spike a little bit past the 75% marker going towards the end. Not with regards to overall enemies, but with regards to a specific circumstance that you have to fight. So I took a point off from that. Normal P um, gamers who play games wouldn't see this. They would see this as always oh, just a normal thing in the game. Um, speaking from the point of view of every person who plays game, not just from the point of view of a person who's playing the game for enjoyment or those who are diehard fans. So you gotta, when you create games, you have to consider everyone with regards to these things. So I have to dock a, a point from the game for that. So now I'm back down to like a 9.1. And then I took another point off from the game. I took four points from the game in total with regards to those situations having to have to get upset because there's no, there's no right or there's no wrong way to do things. But who in their right mind would, would try to get a precision block and miss every single time especially when you were fighting Rufus Rufus has an automatic counter for every attack you do and you literally would have to fight against going for an attack against him because he auto counters everything you do so that fight I had to do that fight several times until I understand the mechanic because there was no explanation towards how Rufus is you just have to scan them to see what his whole thing is but every time you make a mistake and going for an attack you screw it up now the game slowly is telling teaching you how to do these things throughout the game but the point of, of certain characters certain bots cloud tifa aries they're given in the default stance with regards to fighting so by them putting themselves in a position where they have to use their default and the game countering that default because they know a character like Cloud will go in for a slash it makes it very difficult to the person who's playing the game to try to not let that character that bot do what the default thing is forcing the bot to do so it becomes kind of an annoyance and it's not an enjoyable thing it's not enjoyable at all it's actually counterproductive towards what you the player wants to do and what the actual bot is trying to do you're trying to force it to do something that it's not supposed to do but the thing that it's supposed to do is actually the thing that will get you killed. So I had to take a point off for that as well. And then the final point I took away off why I'm back down to 8.9 is with regards to, um, I don't know. I think I took three points off. Yeah, if I had the game to about 9.4, 9.3, 9.4, I'm about around 8.9 to about a 9 right now. So those were the three things I found throughout the game that were either present from the beginning and there was no description that these things were present. And also, oh, I think I know what it is, why the fourth one was. The fourth one was the inability to um, change the music, uh, increase your sound, and increase your 
your visuality within the pause menu of a cutscene. I think I might have said the same thing within the last video, but if I didn't say it in the last video, I'm saying it now. I'm taking a point off of that. If I did say it in the last video, then I'm only docking this game three points. But if I didn't say it in the last video, I'm docking the game four points. That's why I'm down to anything from 8.9 to about a 9. Like when you go over games, you really have to go over every single detail, every mistake, and every good things that, that are about the game. Like I know that it gives you different ways to use your material left right up center but it doesn't really matter if you're doing it this way because it's not like you could press an automatic fill and they fill each of the buttons or you do it this way and you do it individually and you fill it this way and then it pops up here it really doesn't matter how you want to do it you could do it quickly or you could do it easily so i could give a game a point for that but that's really a preferential thing, so I'm not going to give a game an additional point for the way you include your material. Because it doesn't really matter in that sense. Vertical, horizontal, doesn't really matter. Um, so that's where I am right now. I'm everywhere from anywhere from an 8.9 to a 9. Every time I make this game go back up a point, I found something to drop it back down for. With regards to things that I didn't see before at the beginning of the game leading to up to now, or things that are just present in the game due to, I guess they were rushing the game, or they're forcing certain things onto it for you to understand how to use in the game, things that you wouldn't want to do and don't want to use. Like I don't, I don't really give a damn about precision blocking. I only care about blocking. Like, does it really matter? I have to block at a specific time. Otherwise, I don't get the block. As long as I get the block, that should be the pr that should be no problem. But a specific type of blocking, you see, there's certain decisions made that won't apply to the random gamers. And I'm saying this from a point of view of not a random gamer, but I'm understand this from a point of view of a random gamer. So I don't think that was a good idea. Like to have precision blocking, these are things that you would give to people who are hardcore gamers not to the steady everyday uh, running a mill gamer or even fun fans like if i block and i do the parry i should block and do the parry that's all they want to know they don't want it to be precise and everything they just want to do it and then they get the counter they want to do it and get the counter they want to do it and then get the counter that's what they want to see um and i know this because at a certain point room uh early game enjoyment back in years ago this is how I used to be before I really got into gaming and experimenting with gaming so I know the people who are just random game fans like random Star Wars fans or people who have these things and enjoy game as a form of relief they like to challenge and they like to have a challenge but when the challenge gets to the point that it becomes an annoyance after you change up your material over and over again in order to have a result and an outcome but yet you still fail regardless of how many times you do it i believe in two's company three's a crowd so when you fail at something three times that's when you're starting to annoy your player or when you fail at something two times you beat you fight a boss and you lose twice to a boss okay you get upset about it but when you lose like the third time to a boss then the elevation towards someone's annoyance starts to increase in that bottle you know the gauge for their patience starts to wear thin past the second loss and by the time they get to their third loss or should i say by the time they get to their fourth loss that gauge is now getting close to the halfway point by the fifth loss it's now at the halfway point sixth loss it's at the 75 percent marker seventh law and eighth loss is almost at the top so by the time someone is has been defeated seven or eight times within this game that's considered a family game or a game meant for everyone if it's not a family game it's a game meant for everyone and it's not to the level of something like say a doom or an elden ring you start thinking to yourself is there a reason why they're making these things that di this difficult coming towards the end but they weren't doing this at the beginning of the game it was just it hit and miss hit and miss the dragon i just fought is difficult but he's doable because i've increased my material and material type but to me he wasn't difficult because i've been leveling up to a certain point but before then i was fighting rufus and ellen and rude 
and they don't seem to be following the logic of the game from the beginning. They seem to have been a very alien thing that had nothing to do with what skills you have or what experience you have or anything. There, there seems to be an instability with regards to certain bosses and certain other bosses. Like the game is trying to help you out, but then it doesn't try to help you out. Then it tries to help you out again, but then it doesn't try to help you out. It's been a constant theme throughout this game. Even with regards to grinding it, and even with regards to leveling up materia. Certain materials can be leveled up fast, others takes like a million years to level up. So everything in this game is very strange. They're all going on a increase increased roller coaster, back and forth, back and forth, up and down, up and down. So now I'm back down to a 8.99. So I'll continue the story. Hopefully before the game is completely over, it stays in the 9. If it stays in the 8, then I will kind of be disappointed, but I will, see, I will still know that it's a good game. It's just not a great game. That's all. It will have a replay value of about one most. Two if I want to actually have an enjoyment with a friend or something. But I believe, based on everything I'm seeing, you know, typically when you play a game over and over and over again, it's because it's been constantly increasing from the beginning of the game towards the end of the game and even though it has annoying things it allows the benefit of what you have acquired through items to equipment in order to increase your playability and your execution of fun factor from beginning to the end now if I'm thinking about this then that will make this game has a repl have a replay value of two so from a random person's point of view, this might be just a replay value of 1. But from a gamer's point of view, it might be a replay value of 2. Because there are challenges and there are other activities that you will probably do directly after the game. So I could see this game having a replay value of 2. This is why I say this game is anywhere from in the 8 territories to the 9 territories. Anyone who says this game is a fail, I, I think they might be off their rocker. So I'm just continuing forward and... I'm now back down to I think the live stream's angry. At least, that's how it feels. Hey, Aerith? Do you think you could explain that we don't mean any harm? I don't know. I mean, I'll try.
is our priority. We have to get to it first. Let's move. Cloud. They're with Aerith. They'll be fine.
die! Hey, get your shit together! <laughs> <laughs> 